Hey everyone, so today I'm going to make my own soil, my own padding soil, uh, because it is expensive to just get a bag from the store. That's why I uh, did my math and my calculations and it's actually easier to buy the ingredients and then just have them at home and mix them up as much as you need to and fill up the pads that you're going to use. So if you don't have storage to store all these bags, I suggest you just buy the padding soil. But why buy it when you can make it? And all these are very cheap with the exception of the fertilizer, which I had anyway because I need it for my plants. And this is the Azimate Rock Dust that you've seen in many of my other videos that I bought a big bag for $50, but that was, I think, three years ago, and I still have about two-thirds of the bag, so it, it goes uh, a long way. And uh, so, here are the ingredients. What I use, it's peat moss. This is to hold the moisture in the soil, in the container. I use manure, I use topsoil, and gypsum, the fertilizer and the rock dust. So here is the thing, try as much as possible to buy local local products. So the topsoil and the manure are bought by a local company and here I have some padding soil. They're bought from a local company that I like a lot, I've used it a lot and um, you know it's better for the environment if you buy local anyway I'll put links to everything and I will show you the proportions and how I make my padding soil because I have to plant a few things in pots well I don't have to but I have the pots so I might as well use them so here are the proportions so this is my first container that I'm gonna make and I am going to make three separate piles so one pile is going to be pit moss one pile is going to be topsoil and then the third pile is going to be the manure with the fertilizer, the gypsum and the rock dust. And now an easy way to do that instead of just eye, well, you're still going to be eyeballing it, but it's easier to use your container and then fill up one third of the container with one ingredient, one third of the container with the other ingredient, and then fill up the rest on the top and then mix them all together. So here is we're gonna start with the pit moss. All right, so my first pile, it's going to be my pit moss. About third of the container, and I'm gonna dump it over here. And this is mostly, it doesn't have much of a nutritional value, and it's mostly to, uh, to keep the, the, the moist into the container, or the soil. And here is my one third of topsoil. And you see the difference between topsoil and pit moss. But when we, once we mix it, it's going to be all looking like a regular, uh, regular padding soil. And now the last third is going to be some cow manure. Right there. Look at that beautiful cow manure. And then to the, <laughs> and then to the cow manure. I am going to, or to everything all together, but it has to make about the same pile. I am going to add one, two, three generous tablespoons of the rock dust. It's called Azumate, and I'm going to put a link in the description section. You've seen it. If you've been in my channel for a while, you've seen it before. Then I'm going to put a handful of all-purpose fertilizer. I've been using this one for a couple of years as well. It's a really good one. And lastly, I'm going to put some gypsum. And it's still a local gypsum. It's called Arizona's Best. And for this one, I'm going to put my gloves because it's a bit rough. I don't want to damage the old hands. And just crush it down. Just make sure to, if you use gypsum, make sure to break all the, the small pieces. All right, and now I am going to mix all this together and make me a beautiful soil. And again, as I said, I could just buy, and I have a bag of padding soil. I can just buy the padding soil, but this way I'm making my own and I can manipulate the ingredients. And it is cheaper. The manure is about $1.78. The topsoil is $2. 
the gypsum is six dollars but that bag it's gonna last forever um, the pit moss that huge bag of pit moss that's only twelve dollars but that's gonna last forever too so and a good bag of gardening so it's about 10 12 13 14 dollars so it is uh, in my opinion based on my calculations it's a good idea to make your own. See how beautiful it is with all the ingredients. And uh, I have two more pots that I have to do and they're actually quite a bit bigger than this one where I'm gonna be planting stuff. That's fun. Look at all this goodness and richness. All right, I think this is mixed pretty well. And if you have compost, mine, it's not completely done. You might have seen the video. Instead of, instead of manure, you can use your own compost. But mine, it's going to probably be another month and a half or even two months before I can use it. All right, that's good enough. And now I'm going to fill up my container. Break any big pieces, if there are any. Now I'm going to stop right here, I'll show you why. I'll be back in two seconds. So I'm going to water this soil a little bit because I am going to plant me some chocolate mint that I bought from Sprouts and I've been using for my juices and my smoothies. However, this container is getting a little too small and it stopped growing, although it says here that I can just keep it in this container. But it's not doing very well, so I'm gonna put it in its own pot. So for that reason, oops, I am going to soak the soil a little bit. Just a set. That is plenty. Alright. Oh, look at that beauty. I made this. How great is that? Nice very very nice all right so i'm gonna make a little space here for my chocolate mint which is by the way amazing i have other mint too but the chocolate mint is so good i love it so here is my mint and i watered the mint through until water started pouring from the bottom so I can easily take it out. You have to do this with anything that you're planting, otherwise you're gonna break the roots. And then kind of massage the cup a little bit to separate the soil from the sides of the cup. And then flip it over. And I've never done it with something that is that big. So hopefully, oh, look at that. Ah, oh, look at it. Look at all this mint trying to grow here on the side. I knew this container is getting too small. So I'm going to loosen the roots just a little bit here in the bottom. Oh, that smells heavenly. And then set it right over there. And I am going to start adding the rest of my soil. All right. I'm going to put my gloves because of the cow manure. Kind of worried about that. Radio. Oh, this is just wonderful. Oh, that means smells like heaven. Wonderful. Okay, and I'm gonna give it another drink of water to kind of to kind of wash off the container a little bit because it's kind of dirty. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. If this is your first time visiting my channel, please subscribe. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please, please, thumbs up. And um, so I'm going to move on to my next project because I have something bigger to plan. Bye, guys. <laughs>